times. Ain't no more hard times. We gon' make this our time, yeah. Let's keep dreaming dreams and make it for our life. Get away from all the things that keep us dark inside. Take my hand and let's proceed to the life we glorify. What's up, guys? We back with another video. video. As y'all seen, I titled. You already know what's going on, man. We finna go ahead and. Go to her brother house. Mm -hmm. We about to go over there, y'all. He better do our logo for us because we dropping some merch, merch. real soon. You know I mean? But I got some merch, man. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin Rashawn also for helping us out with this. Um, we're trying to build a team. So this is what we're doing it for, guys. Um, but before we get to the video, make sure you like, like comment, comment, and, and if, if you're new to the, the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the gang. 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 How we rocking, man? Road to 50k is real. Road to 100k is real. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. So we could have like a road coming towards the back and have like this in the background, even smaller. So it looks like it's you know what I'm saying in the distance, like a fleet of them. Yeah. So it looks hard. So yeah. people are like, damn, right. you know what I'm saying? Talk that, talk that. We could do, we could do, we could do all types. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> I'm telling you, we're going to call out some fire. We're going to So look, look, I got the Lambo. Look. And I could do anything I want. I could put it as your guys' background. I could put like a sky background. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with like a sunset in the background, but you got Lambos on the side where it look, you know what I'm saying? Just shit, like, I, I can I can keep going, bro. I got so many ideas, bro. You guys just give me a couple days. I'll send you some shit in a couple days. Fire shit. Because I just yeah. got this today. I haven't even really, really done anything. But like, once I get the fire things, you're going to be, this is perfect. You're going to be like, we can put this on a shirt. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can do whatever whatever you want, bro. And because I made it, it's, it's it, you can have whatever because it's created by, you know, once. So like the thing with pictures, it's kind of like the same with like, like licensed shit. We getting them merch ready for you guys. It's coming, it's coming. Period. Fire shit, fire shit. It's coming, it's coming. We're working on it. Right, so we just got back home. Um, it was definitely lit. Got um, some good content. Definitely chopped it up with her brother. Her brother's gonna be on our team. We gonna have a few other people on our team. We're, we're gonna come and contact other people to be on our team because we wanna build a team together. We wanna, you know what I'm saying? We wanna have everybody's opinion on everything you feel me just like just because being small minded and just thinking that me and her can figure out ourselves is just you know that's just not the smart way to go you know what i'm saying like but yeah it was definitely lit um one thing before we do end this video though we do have a, something to share and i'm gonna let my beautiful fiance oh God. share what she wanted to share with you guys it's been a while we've been using it for a couple for yeah. a couple years now I just didn't want to tell anybody. Yeah, really, I didn't just, really want to put it out there because, I mean, nobody needs to know that. And it's just, I felt like it was, it was just my person, business. Right. So, but, like, I felt like since we're, like, on YouTube and we put our, like, we put ourselves out there. Yeah, basically I feel lives. like you guys should know about me and Jordan, but, you know. Um, I just wanted to, just, like, tell you guys, like, my story, like, what I've been through and just so that you guys know a little bit more about me. Basically, yeah, like she just wanted to, and we talked about it before we even did the video type shit. Like she wanted to just come down, not comment, she wanted to just come on YouTube to talk to you guys about um, what happened in her past. And she's a strong woman. Like she, she been through a lot. And this, what we're about to tell you guys is really crazy to me. I never knew it until I met, first met her and she told me and it's just like, it caught me off guard. Like. So, like, I don't know, I just respect her more as, like, a person, as a human being, just because she went through this and she got through it. And yeah, so basically, y'all. Uh, you know, yeah, you just. Basically. You just, just listen, y'all. This is, this, for real, this is a crazy story to listen to this, for real. Okay, so one day, um, I had, like, a ball in my throat, and I didn't know what it was. And I was, I thought it was nothing because, you know, I was, like, a little young, and I really didn't, like, realize anything or, like. So I was just like, you know, throwing it aside and I'm just like, it's nothing. Um, one day I went to the hospital with my mom because she was like, this has to be something. Like, there's no way that you have this like big ball in your throat and it's nothing. So I go to the hospital and they like test me and everything. They do a whole bunch of tests and it comes back that I have cancer, thyroid cancer. So, um, 
Now, I was. Uh, let me stop you real fast. Okay. Now, was like, was that scary? Just hearing that information, like just yes. just a doctor coming and telling you, like, okay, well, this is because when you hear the word cancer, it's like, it's like you get scared, you know? What? Like, it's scary. And I didn't feel anything, so like I really didn't know how to feel. I didn't feel like hurt or nothing. So like I had cancer for like a year and a half, and I didn't even know. Didn't even know. So like that's, that's so just crazy, crazy to me. Yeah. Um. So then I had surgery. I got both my thyroids taken out, so I don't have any thyroid hormones. So like I have to take thyroid hormones pills every single day of my life because that's the only thing that's gonna give me hormones. Hormones, yeah. So. And if you don't know, hormones is what makes your body like function daily. Like, if and your thyroid is actually a a major component in your body. If you guys did not know that, it really, really, really can mess with. You. A lot of stuff that you do mm. in daily life. It does. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And she, that's that's why I say she's a strong woman. Like she's been going through this for years, like years on years mm -hmm. and years. And I got it when I was a junior in high school. And, and you feel me? Like that's crazy to even think about. Like, and I just ever since I met her, like I've just been there for her. I've been supporting her. I make sure oh, she takes her medicine every day. I make sure that she's okay. Like. I always check up on her always because I'm just nervous. Just yeah. if know. I don't take my pills, I feel weird like weird, all yeah. day. I'm really really tired, so like I have to take those pills. It's like a part of my body, so it's like Facts. I have no other way around it. It sucks, but like I'm just glad that everything is fine. I don't have it no more. Um, I'm living good. Like I feel good. It's like not bothering me. Body, but it's just right. like crazy to think that I actually had yeah, right. it and like it is crazy. stuff like that, and it's just. Like, that's that's really crazy. I'm glad I'm okay though. No, for real. Like I ain't never being serious. Like, I know, but like I can't take him serious, y'all, because <laughs> I'm glad you're okay though too. Like that, that's that's really what shocked me also. You saying you had it and you beat it and because a, a lot of times people don't really right. beat I really, cancer. Like, right. I really, really just don't like to talk about it, that's why. Yeah, and that and that's why we haven't really opened up about it. Yeah, she we've been talking about it, like she wanted to say it but she didn't make it public to everybody in the world. But we just sat down like a couple days ago talking about it. And I'm like, baby, she just opened up about it. Like, we've been doing it for two years. They know who we are, basically. I mean, let's just open up and just talk to them about our lives. like. And she thought that that would be something that you guys should know. Because a lot of people don't know that she had cancer. You couldn't even tell she had cancer. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I have like a big scar right here for my surgery. Yeah, right, yeah. right there on her neck. Right here, guys. It's just like yeah, a line right. where she got surgery at. So that's what it's from. Just, I feel a lot better now because I felt like I was hiding this from y'all. But I really wasn't. Yeah, I just... Is. Didn't know how to go about it and didn't right. know how to say it. Oh, that, that's facts. That's facts. Um, but yeah, like we said, she's fine now, guys. Um, she does not have cancer now. She they even told her already that the cancer will yeah, not come back. Right, because I had one. I had one. There's two thyroids. I only had one that had cancer, but they took the other one out just, just so that. Yeah, yeah, just so that I don't have it. So it don't. It doesn't spread through her whole body. Yes. And they said that it, they said that if she didn't come in when she came in. It could have spread through her whole body and yeah. eventually, you know. Something could have happened, yeah. Something bad could have happened. So I'm just glad that they went to the hospital at the right time. That's I just thank God that she's still alive, that she's healthy. That is just, just a blessing, man. Felt like a second chance. Yeah, and just, for real, though. I mean, that's real. Like. <sighs> well, that's it, guys. We just wanted to share that with you guys. And obviously, I had Jordan's support. Yeah, always. You always got my support, babe. I'm always be here for her, always, no matter what. All right, though, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, like we said, that merch is dropping soon. As you guys seen, we have been talking with our people. Oh, we're so excited. We're so, so excited. I know we've been saying it for, like, long. It's like, we're going to drop merch at 50K, but we just feel like it's the right time now. And 2021. 2021 is the year we're going to spread great vibes, positivity, Giveaways, giveaways, a lot more. A lot, giveaways. yeah, it's a lot more stuff. Better content. We're gonna have different content. We, we want to just make our channel different. We're gonna make everything bigger and better and just bring all the positivity, you know. And support y'all. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you, you guys so much. You guys. Yeah, at all. So, at all. Like, we wouldn't be nothing without you guys. And that's real. And we thank you guys so much for that. We love you guys so much. Um, today's post vacation shout out goes to my baby because just because she's a strong woman, she's an amazing woman, great mother. Um, she's just Thank amazing, you, man. Just amazing woman, guys. Y'all, he getting fussy, getting tired. <laughs> you want to say hi to the Anderson family, baby? Say hi. 
Zay Zay. <laughs> Y'all, he is tired. As fuck. So, he is ready for a nap. So. Well, anyways, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you guys for supporting. And like we always say, we'll, we'll see you guys, guys in our next video. video. The, the Anderson, Anderson family, family is out. Yeah.